All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? My name is Ruffle Rowlitz and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new piece of information that I think a lot of us missed, but that was brought up back again by a... Well, essentially a person on Reddit, right? And it's about a Reddit post that may have actually known a bunch of information about Pokemon, you know, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and possibly also Legends Arceus prior to us actually getting the games revealed. So this was posted by The Last Order about two months ago. It's been a while since this was posted, okay? But I thought we'd cover it. And also shout out to my boy Memo for covering this as well. He was the first one to cover it. And I was just like, hey, you know what? This actually looks pretty interesting and I want to talk about it. Uh, as you guys know, rumors aren't our main prior, you know, primary focus on the channel anymore. We do a bunch of different stuff. So, you know... But we're still going to do rumors because, A, this channel has been kind of founded on rumors for the last two years. So, bear with me. But either way, let's get into the information. So, first of all, the post itself, we're not going to read that straight away. We're going to first read something important that was mentioned down here by The Last Order, who says... The following Pokemon in this post seems off and the name is wrong, obviously, but the rest is either right, more right, than anyone else got or possibly speculated. And it wouldn't be the first, you know, inclusion of some false information either by leakers to cover their tracks or Nintendo to find leakers more easily, you know, as a way for them to avoid that. So basically what he's saying is that this piece of information, this like post, may have a bunch of stuff that is correct, right? But a lot of it can be kind of like, you know, how would you put it? Like, a lot of it can be kind of like, uh, you know, mixed around a little bit, right? Just so we won't 100% know what's going on, what the deal is, uh, as a way to kind of avoid like, you know, Nintendo finding out who is doing what here. So... Let's get into the post itself. So the post itself starts off like this, and this was posted five months ago by Lotad Leak to r slash PokeLeaks, saying, Hey, take with a pinch of a pinch of sort, but please see below. I guess pinch of salt, right? He says, Pokemon Timeless Diamond and Spacious Pearl. The names are incorrect. We now know that the names are Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Wild Pokemon are caught like Mewtwo is in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Again, I don't really know what that actually means, um, to be frankly honest with you. I'm not really, I really don't know what he means by that. How Mewtwo is caught, that they're actually in the overworld and stuff like that. Well, doesn't look like what it was in the trailer, though. It looks like they were actually just wild Pokemon on the grass. Mega's return for main game. Dynamaxing is available in the underground and Wi-Fi battles only. You cannot Dynamax a Mega Pokemon. Game has a fixed camera. The art style mirrors Link's Awakening. There is no wild area. So that's the part where, like, it actually seems to connect. So game has a fixed camera. That is true. We've seen that from the gameplay. Uh, what do you mean? What they mean by fixed camera is that basically the camera itself is always stuck in the same position, right? So it doesn't technically, you know, move or like you can't rotate it or anything. It's just always in the same spot, which is what Pokemon has always sort of been up until the point we got like what, um, well, really just like what Sword and Shield was the first time where we could like rotate the camera, but we can only really do that in the wild area. Probably, you know, generally Pokemon is a fixed camera game, right? Like you're only in one position. You can't really switch away from that, but that's been changing now with Sword and Shield. Uh, so, you know. This just is something that's kind of common, right? Uh, the art style mirroring Link's Awakening. Now, if you don't know what Link's Awakening is, I'll have it on the screen here so you can see what it looks like, and then we can compare that to Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, and you can see kind of what the similarities there are, which there are loads of. I mean, you can clearly see there is similarities between them. So that one, again, is one that really does make sense because it does look like Link's Awakening. It's undeniable that Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl look like Link's Awakening. No questions about that. There is no wild area. That is true. There's definitely going to be no wild area in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. No way it's going to be there. The world may look chibi, but battles are from Sword and Shield's engine. Protagonists and Pokemon look more realistic in battles. This is true as well. If you can remember the trailer specifically, uh, if you saw that, then you do, do remember that basically it did show us that, uh, you know, in battles, you have your characters like fully, you know, like uh, looking more humanoid and realistic and all that. I mean... The models are a little bit, mm, you know, I prefer the ones from, like, Pokemon Masters mold. I think the Pokemon Masters models are better, but at the end of the day, you know, it is true what he's saying here. Like, they are more realistic in the battles themselves, right? Like, they are way more realistic. That's, like, an undeniable, like, fact. Like, they literally are. So, that's one of the things. Uh, now, they continue on saying here, only Pokemon from the original Diamond Pearl games are in these ones. This does include the post-game Pokemon from the originals and all the Pokemon following you, follow you in the Chibi style. Now, we haven't seen any following Pokemon, but do remember, there is a chance of following Pokemon being included later on and them not showing us that feature just yet. There is a chance for that. Like, there always is a chance for that. Uh, is it a large chance? Is it massive? Is it doesn't mean that, oh, we're guaranteed to get that? Of course not, okay? Of course not. But there's always a chance. That's what I'm trying to get to. Like, there's always that 
minuscule chance that that might be the case and that might happen. So you never really know. You gotta just kind of roll with it and just accept the fact that anything is a possibility when it comes to Pokemon, right? Anything can change, anything can be done, anything could, like, happen. They could literally just decide, like, you know what, we're not even gonna have this feature in the game anymore at all. We're just gonna remove it randomly at the end of, you know, just, like, a few months before. Like, anything is possible. I mean, not likely that would happen, but, again, I'm just giving you a general idea of what the possibilities are because they could really do anything they want. Like, they, it, 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 we're talking about Game Freak and Pokemon here. Well, technically, this isn't Game Freak. This is a different company. But at the end of the day, we're talking about Pokemon here. Anything can happen, you know what I mean? Just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, the chibi style, though, is true. We know it is a chibi style. Again, looking very much like Link's Awakening. That is a true fact. There's no questions about that. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely something. Next up. Due to the art style, all character customization has been removed. This seems very true as well. Uh, we can pretty much establish this as a fact, uh, as usually these uh, remakes usually never have customization to any extent. Uh, customization is something that's like just not there, which makes sense because they're remaking the games as they originally were, and back then you didn't really have the option for customization. And also the characters kind of are iconic. Like if you change Dawn and like, you know, Lucas, um, and what I mean by change is like, you know, you take the characters uh, and you just give them the ability to like switch into other things to make them represent more you, it wouldn't really be a remake, it would just be like, you know, hey, you know, here is the region, and you know, a different, you know, kind of different journey than it really was back in the day, so, you know, if they want to make sure that the journey it does feel the same, uh, they got to make sure that, like, in terms of all that, it all just kind of like, you know, looks the same and feels the same, right? So that's another thing that makes a lot of sense. Now, next up, um, what are they saying? Wild Pokemon are a mixture of random encounters and being seen on the routes. Now, we haven't really seen a lot of them on the routes, let's be fair. I don't think we've seen a lot of that on the trailers in particular, but we have seen that they are in the grass, right? A mixture of random encounters and being seen on routes. So again, we have seen the, like, the random encounters. That's definitely there, guaranteed. Like, there's no question about that, all right? 100% there. We don't know about the one, the other option there, right? The, the option of them like being actually seen on routes. We haven't seen that uh, in the trailer as far as I remember. I could be wrong here. It's been a while since I watched the trailer, but I don't remember seeing anything like that. Uh, you guys can correct me in the comments down below if you want to. Just correct me and tell me what you like if there if I missed something, if I'm just an idiot and I don't remember. Just let me know in the comment section down below, all right? Just let me know and I will kind of like rectify it or something. Well, I mentioned in the next video, I'll just be like, oh yeah, you guys, you guys were right about this. So yeah, no, but as far as, far as I know, no, we can't see them on the routes. At least not from any examples we've seen. Next up, Lucas and Dawn will uh, now be second rivals to you after Barry and you'll pick the starter that was, um, pick starter that, that was left. Okay. Mm, and he, and will pick the, oh, okay. He will pick the starter after that was, okay. So gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was a bit confused right there. So, uh, yeah. This doesn't sound too surprising. It seems like this could actually fit pretty well. Doesn't seem too odd. Doesn't seem too off. Just seems to be on board. Honestly, nothing about this part here makes any like, you know, questionable logic about it. Like it just sounds like, yeah, this might be the case, right? Uh, nothing sounds strange. So yeah, the post game includes Distortion World, Battle Tower, and a special mission as a Pokemon Ranger for a certain, I'm assuming they're saying a certain, uh, a certain egg. All right. Ooh, a certain egg. Mm, I wonder what, I wonder what that egg could be. I wonder what it could be. Now, these games are said to look stunning and will look, uh, will make you very nostalgic. Well, that is true, uh, in terms of the nostalgia, but in terms of, like, stunning, I don't know if people are thinking that, I don't really know, um, I, ah, uh, god, I don't know, uh, <laughs> jeez, I don't know, chief, I don't know, hmm, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know about that one, um, yeah, 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 I don't know about that one. I really don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't know about that one. That part right there, um, do you guys think the games look stunning? If you do, then that's fine. You know, if you think they look stunning, that's fair. But I feel like majority of the general opinion for these games is that they don't look stunning, okay? They look fine, but they don't look stunning, all right? Like, I think stunning is the wrong word, right? I do think that, that we can kind of agree on that part, right? That, hey, they look, they look all right, whatever. You know, they look like Link's Awakening, which is cool, but they don't look stunning, right? Like, I think that's a lot of people can agree on that. Do they look nostalgic? Oh, hell yeah, they look nostalgic. Like, that is nostalgia overload, especially with that, but like, I, I don't know about everything else, though. So, next part. Game to be announced on the 26th of February, as Pokemon Day is on the weekend. Fair enough. Uh, and then, late October, <clears throat> release date. So, late October release date, Seems like a reasonable time frame. Doesn't seem too odd. Doesn't seem too off. Seems pretty straightforward. I don't know. But that's pretty much it, though. So, yeah, this rumor is pretty standard, to be honest. Um, the part that's the most interesting, let's be fair, is the Link's Awakening part, where they talk about, like, the style and the chibi style and, like, you know, all that. That's the part which actually makes it sound more realistic. And then they, the part that does make it sound a little bit more eh is the part about Dynamaxing being available in the underground. Okay, that just doesn't seem, like, logical. Uh, and also they talk about, like, you know... Um, 
wild Pokemon are caught like Mewtwo and Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Um, we haven't seen anything about that. I don't, I don't really know. Have we seen any catching like in that sense? I don't really think so. Um, Mega's return for a main game. Mega's returning is one thing that everybody seems to be on board for, and the most likely possibility is Mega's returning. Is it gonna happen? No clue. Okay, we have no context for this. This is gonna be the, you know, gonna be the case. We don't know, but. It does seem like the most logical thing that could happen, right? Mega's returning seems like the most logical and possible thing that could happen in this regard. So I would just like to know what you guys think about this rumor. Do you think it seems to have any logic to it, any realism to it from the past? What are you guys' thoughts? What are your opinions? Let me know in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much it for the rumor. Now, what do I personally think? I'm just going to tell you really quickly. I think this rumor is pretty much not real for one reason. That again is the mention of like Dynamaxing. Or it could be possible that this guy did insert some information as mentioned by the person who like brought this thing up again. It could be that this was just, like, made as a way to, how do you even put it, right? As a way to kind of keep us, like, uh, you know, guessing, right? Or, like, so that they wouldn't be caught by Nintendo. There is a possibility about that, but think about it. He got the name wrong, and he also got, like, uh, some features that we definitely probably will not be seeing. Uh, you know, like, following Pokemon, we don't know anything about that. Uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, second rival thingy bajingy. The second rival thingy bajingy, that didn't really get brought up in a proper manner either. So a lot of stuff here is a little bit... You know, like that. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Rolf Rallets, and I'll see you all in the I'll see you all in the next video. Jeez, bloody hell. Alright, see you in the next one. Peace out.